Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Learning is Fun with Bobby. Today we are going to discuss about the feet and claws of the birds. So without any delay, let's start. Different types of birds have different types of feet and claws. Depending on their food habits, means what they eat and habitats, means where they live. They use their claws for what? For protecting themselves from their enemies, to move and to catch their prey. So, uh, depending on their food habits and habitats, we have divided the birds in some seven categories. Seven categories. So, let's see. Number one is perching birds. Perching birds, scratching birds, climbing birds, flesh eating birds, wading birds, swimming birds and running birds. First, we will discuss about the perching birds. Uh, we have made a table here. First is category of the bird, then example, then toes and claws, how their toes and claws are and the function, function of the toes and claws. First, we will read about the perching birds. So, category is perching. Example, sparrow, crows, parrots. How their toes are? The toes and claws are two or three toes in the front. Two or three toes in the front and one at the back. So, like this. I will try to show you. This two or three toes in the front and one at the back. So, like this. So, how does they help? They can sit comfortably on the branches as their toes curl around the branches. Curl around the branches and hold them firmly. And hold them firmly. This is known as perching. This is known as perching. So, these birds are known as perching birds. So, what did I say? Two or three toes in the front and one at the back. And they, they can hold, they can curl the toes and hold the branches. Suppose this is the branch of a tree and they can hold the branch of the tree firmly. This is known as perching. This is known as perching. And now number two is scratching birds. Scratching birds, category scratching. Example, hens. How their toes and claws are? Three front toes and a small back toe higher up the leg. Three front toes and a small back toe which is higher up the leg. Higher up the leg. It is higher. Toes have sharp and hard claws. Toes have sharp and hard claws. So function, what is the function? This helps the birds to scratch the ground, to scratch the soil. It scratches. It scratches the soil easily. With the hard and sharp claws, they can scratch the soil easily. And now the third category that is climbing birds. Climbing birds, example, this is climbing. Example, woodpecker. How their toes and claws are? Two sharp toes in front and two at the back. Two, two at the front and two at the back. Okay. Okay. So, 
How does this help? These toes help them to climb up by holding the sides of the tree and also helps in balancing while pecking at the bark of the tree. While pecking at the bark of the tree. And as there are two toes in the front and two toes in the back, so they can climb by holding the holding the branch of the tree. Okay. The the sides of the tree like this they can hold hold and climb the tree okay and also this helps them to keep the balance while they are pecking while they are pecking the bark of the tree Okay, and now number four category that is flesh eating, flesh eating birds. Example vultures and eagles. How their toes and claws are? They have strong, curved, and sharp claws. This vultures and eagles, they are flesh eating animals. They catch their prey and eat their flesh. So that's why they have strong, curved and sharp claws. So how these claws help them? They use these claws to hold the prey, to hold the prey firmly. They can hold their prey firmly. They can hold their prey firmly and then they can eat them and these claws of vultures and eagles means flesh eating birds these claws are known as known as talons t a l o n s talons Now next we will learn about the wading birds. Wading means, what does wading mean? Wading means walking with your feet through shallow water. Okay. So cranes and herons, they walk in the muddy ponds uh, and rivers. So these birds are known as wading birds. So, example is cranes and herons. They have long legs, long legs with narrow spread out toes, with narrow spread out toes and long legs. So, how does this help? Long legs help them walk through muddy ponds and rivers without getting wet. So, with long legs, they don't get wet while walking through the uh, muddy ponds or rivers. They, their body doesn't get wet. And uh, the spread out toes also helps them to keep the balance in the water. Okay. Number six. That is swimming birds. Swimming birds. Example, ducks and geese, those who, the birds, those who swim in the water. So, for swimming, they have three toes in front and one at the back. Three toes in front and one at the back. They also have waved feet. So, for swimming, they have waved feet. What, what does this mean? Wave fit means the three toes in the front, they are joined, joined with each other with a skin. They are joined with each other with a skin. And and this is known as wave. So, they have wave feet, three toes in front are joined with a skin which is known as 
way and this helps in swimming this helps in swimming in the water easily and now number 7 category that is running birds the birds those who run very fast example ostrich how their toes and claws are they have very strong and long legs very strong and long legs for running and two toes two toes and sharp claws two toes and sharp claws so they have very strong and long legs to run and two toes and sharp claws and what is the function in case of any danger when there is any enemy so they can run very fast they can run with these uh, long legs and sharp toes they can run very fast and they can run fast from the enemy